Dynamic Uzbekistan Ancient cradle of culture and science with valuable customs and traditions, Uzbekistan is a country located in Central Asia with a long history where people of different backgrounds and belief live in peace and harmony. It's a land where past and present mates, where rich cultural heritage of the nation makes it more fascinating. Every historical site and natural environment allures the world with their outstanding magnificence and beauty. Valleys, rivers, deserts and high mountains make this land even more stunning. This country feels proud of its ancestors' fertile soil and hospitable people who are making their huge contribution to the dynamic development of the Republic of Uzbekistan. Geographic Location Uzbekistan is a sovereign democratic republic with a spatial geographical and geopolitical position, abundant natural and human resources. Uzbekistan is situated in the heart of the Eurasian continent. The total area of the republic is 447.8 thousand square kilometers. The republic stretches from west to east to 1425 kilometers, from north to south 930 kilometers. The total length of the state borderline is 6,221 kilometers. Uzbekistan is the third largest of the Central Asian republics in the area and the first in population. The country is bordered by Kazakhstan to the north, Turkmenistan and Afghanistan to the south, and Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan to the east. History The territory of modern Uzbekistan was at the center of the rich cultural and commercial developments that occurred in Central Asia over a period of two millennia. Especially along the axis defined by the Great Silk Road between Europe and China. Uzbekistan, the most populous and powerful state in Central Asia, has a long and magnificent history. Located between two rivers, the Amudarya to the north and the Sirdarya to the south, the region that is modern Uzbekistan was one of the cradles of world civilization. From prehistoric times, the region was a crossroad on the transcontinental trade routes between China and the West. Some of the world's oldest cities, such as Samarkand, Bukhara, and Hiva, are located here. These cities have ancient and well-preserved heritage aged more than 2,750 years, with hundreds of architectural monuments of different eras known around the world. The country has over 4,000 architectural and archaeological sites, and some of them are in the World Cultural Heritage List of the UNESCO. This historic legacy allures foreign tourists by its original architecture. Uzbekland is also famous to the world for such great scholars and thinkers as Al-Biruni, Al-Khorazmi, Ibn Sina and Mirza Ulughbek, who made an invaluable contribution to the world civilization. Spiritual and Cultural Heritage in obtaining state sovereignty, the revival of spirituality and culture, restorations of true history and singularity have become one of the priorities of the Uzbek government's policy. In the early years of independence, having rightly realized the importance of spiritual and cultural values as a basis of development and powerful impetus to the national identity, the government of Uzbekistan began widely advocating customs, traditions and national values of the Uzbek people. Numerous religious institutions, monuments of culture and history, masterpieces and the pride of the Uzbek nation have been restored. The revival of spiritual, historical and cultural values of Uzbekistan is the foundation of the self-determination, formation and development of national statehood as well as the spiritual and moral impetus for wide-scale developments and the aspirations of the country for the future. Natural Resources the Republic of Uzbekistan possesses large production and mineral resource potential, unique agricultural resources and significant volumes of prepared raw materials. The country is the main producer and supplier of cotton, strategic product with huge export potential. 
The Republic occupies fifth place in the world in production of cotton fiber. Uzbekistan is also famous for its gold and rare metal deposits, high carat gold, silver, uranium and others. Uzbekistan also possesses significant energy resources such as oil, gas, coal and hydro resources that contribute to the development of its economy. The country occupies third place in gas output amongst the CIS and is included in the top 10 gas producers of the world. Political positions and initiatives Uzbekistan has persistently been paying attention to maintain peace in the region and in the international arena and to develop cooperation with world countries based on the equality and mutual interests in its foreign policy. Moreover, the state is putting forward a range of initiatives directed at establishing peace in Afghanistan and making Central Asia a region free from nuclear weapons. Uzbekistan has firmly been expressing its position to fight modern threats and to support ecological sustainability in the region. Definitely, these efforts and initiatives have also been acknowledged on an international scale. Dynamic Economic Growth the development path most loyal to the country and known worldwide as the Uzbek model was an important milestone in the history of independent Uzbekistan. It led to a follow-up process of large-scale work towards achieving political and economic independence, a new stage in the history of national statehood. The basis of this model of building a democratic state and civil society have laid down five principles of transition to a market economy. Priority of economy over politics, placing the state as main reformer, rule of law, strong social policy, faced and evolutionary reforms are among them. Thus, thanks to the gradual implementation of reforms, Uzbekistan became a leader among CIS countries in terms of positive economic growth, which has been accelerated dramatically in recent years on the sound basis of diversifying economy, implementation of the structural reforms and active investment policy. The country has achieved dramatic changes in all spheres of national economy. Between 1990 and 2015, the Republic's GDP at purchasing power parity increased by 6.3 times and its growth rates over 11 years remain around 8%. The national economy has changed quantitatively and qualitatively. The proportion of industries and services has consistently increased in the structure of GDP. The indicators respectively 17.6% and 33.8% in the 1990, then it reached 33.5% and 54.5% in 2015. At the same time, country achieved enormous progress in the sphere of food security. Today, Republic's agriculture not only covers domestic demand for food products, but also provides significant expansion of export capacity. Education sector The education sector of the country has also gone through wide-scale and gradual reforms since the country gained sovereignty. Currently, the system is based on preschool education, fundamental education, secondary specialized and professional, higher professional, postgraduate education, training and retraining of the personnel, and out-of-school education. Dynamic processes of social and political reformation taking place in Uzbekistan opened up new prospects for young people for free and more creative self-expression. Youth policy has become one of the main priorities of the state policy. Due to the efficient reforms introduced in education sector, a number of international universities have been established and are successfully functioning in the country. Indeed, further strengthening of the country's sovereignty and statehood strongly relies on the youth support with a strong knowledge of mind and intelligence. Conclusion Wide international interest in developments in Uzbekistan is not only the recognition of the government's policy on this direction, but also promotion of Uzbekistan's contribution to the world culture and the unity of universal and national values, which is definitely an important factor for the peaceful coexistence of global community.